today I am in Chicago and I'm gonna take you along this weekend so I flew up here this weekend to meet some friends we're gonna have some fun we've got dinner reservations tonight some reservations tomorrow we'll hopefully go to the Christmas market and I'm gonna take you along for little bits and pieces of all the fun so I took a car service here and just got to the hotel so I'll share my room real quick I'm at the Hilton Garden Inn here right along the river on East Wacker Place, I just have a one king size bed um, and I have a little bit of a view of the river, just a little peak of the river over here at the window. If you crane your head just hard enough, you can see a little bit of water. Next time I'll spring and I'll get a water view. But I have a lovely view of buildings. So anyhow, I'm gonna get fresh and touch my makeup and retouch my hair because I've been on the plane all morning. It's actually just now almost lunchtime. I'm gonna head out, get lunch, meet up with my friends and get the party started. So I popped over to Millennium Park real quick. They've got the ice skating out. It is a brisk morning. I'm so excited to be here. It has been so many years since I have been to Chicago. We used to be here all the time because we lived right down the road. So there's the bean. It's obviously a great picture spot. Here in Millennium Park, there's a really cool structure over here. So this is something we want to bring the kids and do. We're thinking about maybe in the spring coming to Chicago, going to the museums and doing the river tours. They've got all kinds of water taxis. It's a really pretty area. And so the area that I'm staying is right over here. So it's a great view and a really central location to Michigan Avenue, which is right here. At Primark, they have a Primark here now, and they have the cutest Disney accessory cases and some Harry Potter ones too. I'm gonna have to get some of these to take on my next Disney trip. All kinds of cute Disney stuff. How cute is this stuff? I have seen Primark online, but I've never seen their stuff in person. They have so many cute things. And then there's this cute set over here. Have lots of goodies. Okay. I got an Italian beef pizza. So it is almost bedtime on night one. We had a fun evening and a great dinner. And I'm sitting here watching Hallmark Lifetime movies and just chilling out for a little bit so that way I can rest and then get some sleep tonight and get up tomorrow and go explore the city some more. So hopefully you are enjoying following along tomorrow. We're going to go over to Navy Pier. We're going to go probably back to the Chris Kindle Market. I'm going to get some more mugs and I'm going to get a little tote bag to bring all my goodies home with me. So come along for more fun at our trip in Chicago tomorrow. Starting out the day with a sugar cookie latte. There's Sephora. We are heading to Navy Pier. You don't like that sweet It's too so Got the breakfast burrito at the Hampton Social. Looks really good. And some rosé all day. in Navy Pier in Chicago and we are out enjoying the beautiful weather today. We're going to do some shopping, have some awesome meals, and just enjoy the city. Good 
The view on this side is so pretty. I love the cityscape. We're gonna stop and get some pictures. Then we're gonna go do some shopping. place here in Chicago and go see if we can find some fun gifts for Natalie. This store is huge and the girls have been here before but it's been a really long time so I want to bring the kids and take them here so it's got multiple floors and pretty much everything imaginable you could buy for American Girls. It's the Christmas fireplace. <laughs> We got the big egg chair that you can sit in here. I gotta bring Natalie now that she's totally into this. We got the Kaya Habitat. I love that little sled, it's so cute. They've already got their decorations up for the holidays. They've got escalators in the back. When I bring the kids, they've got the Dine Smile Play Cafe. And we came here a lot when they were little because they were preschoolers whenever we lived here before. And so they haven't been able to come here since they have been totally into the dolls. So I think Natalie is going to go crazy when she can actually go to this huge store. We spent a lot of time in that area because it used to be the Bitty Baby area. Hey, okay, Natalie got some birthday gifts and we're going to head back out and go to some more stores. So for Natalie's birthday, they got these fun Santa pajamas. So I'm gonna bring this back home to her. So she's got this little treat for the holidays. There is the 360 Chicago experience. That's always a lot of fun to go upstairs. The observation deck. I'm gonna take the kids to do that as well. Right, we almost stayed three days in water. She almost can't do it all in two. Right. All the other things that I want to do with my about 9 30 at night and we had a awesome day so I will share a quick haul of some of the items that I got while we were out shopping today I showed some of the places some of the places I didn't it was a lot busier today because the light festival was tonight and they lit up all the lights on Michigan Avenue which was awesome to see there was also a parade which we did not stand on Michigan Avenue to watch because there was a ton of people down there and supposedly some fireworks, although we did not ever see any fireworks or hear any fireworks, so I'm not sure about that part. But it was neat being here when they were turning on all the Christmas lights and just to see all of the Christmas decorations around and all of that, so it was really, really nice. Um, I'm also really glad that I got this coat off of Amazon because it was definitely starting to get chilly here, especially when it was a bit windy. So let me show you some of the items that I got during the day today and um, share a bit of a shopping haul from our shopping day in Chicago. 
So here is a bit of a haul, and I'll have to go show the mugs are in the bathroom because I rinsed them out. Um, and I got these bags at Primark yesterday, so I'll share what's down inside because I have them stuffed a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. I'm not going to show some of the things that I bought yesterday because they're Christmas gifts, and my children have the ability to find my channel on the internet, and they do like watching our videos sometimes. So that phase has passed that I can share Christmas gifts really before I give them. Um, but let me share some of the items other items that I got while we were out shopping so Primark if you don't know what the store is if you're a Disney person you probably do but it is in England and now there is a location in Chicago really huge store but it's kind of like a cross between Ikea meets like a um, clothing store meets, I mean, just really, really neat stuff. So we've got some notebooks. They had little face masks. There was little cosmetic bags that has stitch on it. And then there's another one that I've stowed away down in there. Some other little goodies and this big tote that came with this one. And the prices are really reasonable. So it kind of reminds me of like an Ikea mixed with, I'm trying to think of a clothing store, like an H&M kind of all mixed together because they have like home stuff and cute wrapping paper and a lot of accessories and then a lot of clothes. So um, it's a really neat store. Um, and they have Disney licenses and Harry Potter. So really, really neat. But to give you an idea, like this set was $9 that had this cute glittery sparkly flat pouch and then this Minnie Mouse larger pouch with the pocket. That's a really awesome deal um, and really decent quality. And then this one um, was like $3. So really awesome prices. I think I only spent like $45 there. It was not... Um, too bad at all. We also went to Trader Joe's as you can see now. We finally got a Trader Joe's in Huntsville Finally, it just opened. It's not super convenient to where I am So I haven't actually been over to it yet, but I wanted to try some of the holiday goodies This is a gift and I showed that earlier She will have already gotten that though because it's a birthday gift so I can show that but um, I got some of these peppermint pretzel slims I got penguins some dog treats to try and I got these super cute cookie mug hangers. I hope these make it home actually. Um, but they look delicious. And then also some of this winter wake up tea. So that is what I got at Trader Joe's. Just a little taste of some things. And I need to try to get to our Trader Joe's um, that just opened up in Huntsville. Um, then tonight we went back to the Chris Kindle Market. I got a couple ornaments for the girls. Oh, I also got them some keychains. I guess I'll go find their sparkly and cute. I got an extra mug to have, and they have a couple different styles. I just really like the style. So we got wine that came in the other mugs I'm going to share, but I really like this one. I thought it was cute because it has a penguin on it, and just a really unique shape. So I got one of those extra you can they had a kiosk where you could just buy the mugs without the drinks in them um, so I will go run to the bathroom real quick and show you the other mugs so I just rinse these out and they were sitting on the side of the sink so these mugs change every year so this is the commemorative mug from this year the 25th anniversary of the Chris Kendall market and it has the 2021 on there so I love the city scene on this one it's just really pretty and they're a unique shape too because they're really tall so I got two of those so I thought the girls could well first of all I got them because the wine was delicious one last night one tonight but now that I've ended up with two of them I thought that I could um, you know have the girls have a hot chocolate I mean that sort of thing so they have been rinsed out I think that they're still drying the one from tonight anyways and I'm gonna try to hopefully get those home in one piece as well and then last but not least, I got a couple things in Nordstrom Rack. So I've done a little bit of shopping and I am going to check my suitcase that I came with. So I got this really great nylon tote. It's a Marc Jacobs bag and really great quality. It zips up. It's a really nice size. It's got a huge drop um, on the shoulders. And so it's comfortable to wear even with a coat. And I thought this would be a really great travel tote. It's a great size. 
and I'm going to use this as my extra carry-on bag on the way back. And then the nice thing is, is I can fold this up, stick it down inside a suitcase for future trips, and then I have my carry-on since this seems to be happening, happening quite regularly. <laughs> like if I go to Disney or wherever and I've done some extra shopping, I can just pack this in my suitcase and then it can be my carry-on on the way back. And then... As I was getting ready to go check out, there was a Tory Burch section, and I really love Tory Burch handbags. And this one kind of grabbed my attention. I love the color. It's just like a really subtle mushroom taupe color. And it's got an interesting design to it. It's got the uh, magnet here at the top. There's a zipper area here in the center. And then two big open areas on either side and it fits really comfortably on the shoulder. So I just thought it was really pretty. I tried it on and it just looked like a Diana bag, <laughs> which is what I said after I tried it on. Um, so that is going to go home with me as well. And those were kind of my big treats to myself um, while we were here this weekend. Oh, I also got a couple little, um, I got some Evian water spray I like that. And then um, I, ch I got these in the checkout line in Nordstrom Rack. And it says, don't wait, celebrate champagne bubbles. I love these like little candies that are like kind of like gummies with things on the outside. And these are champagne flavor. They're so good. So there is my Chicago haul. Um, get to see the ornaments I'm bringing home to the kids. There's a Mickey and a Minnie. All the mugs and just lots of fun, cute stuff. So now I have got to pack all of this up for tomorrow and start getting things ready to go to O'Hare Airport. Also, I have a feeling this will probably get just put into one travel vlog, so hopefully you've enjoyed going through the travel vlog and I will be vlogging again tomorrow. But I will do kind of like a recap and maybe share a how to pack for Chicago in the fall and the winter because obviously living here you kind of pick up different things. I actually when I got here I realized like oh everyone's dressed in like black and gray and very like dark neutral colors and I brought some brighter outfits and I didn't end up actually wanting to wear them because I kind of fell back into that darker clothing um, idea. So that's been interesting since we've lived down south for like four years now. Um, I kind of didn't think about that when I was packing. But the nice thing is, is that I did have a lot of layers. Layers work great in Chicago, um, especially like this time of year where maybe like warmer during the day, but it gets cold at night. Um, and it just, you know, worked out well when I had a lot of different options packed. Um, so I may do like some sort of recap, either like a how to pack video or just like a planning to do Chicago type of video. And we are planning on bringing the kids back up here. They've been here a ton, but they were just real little when we brought them here. So I'm excited to bring them back now at the ages they are so they can do the museums and get a little bit more out of it. They enjoyed doing it as preschoolers, but it's a little bit different bringing back like a 10 year old and 11 year old. So I'm excited about that. It's been a fun weekend and I will bring you along tomorrow. We are going to go get some breakfast, a little bit more sightseeing. And then the car service picks me up here at the hotel in kind of the middle of the afternoon to head to O'Hare for my flight. So thanks for watching today and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of our Chicago adventure and Chicago vlog.